this episode, we'll be visiting some of the top hot pot restaurants in Singapore. There's Mala, Lobster, and even a Thai hot pot. Which will we like the best? Let's find out. And in today's Food Finders, we're going to show you some of Singapore's best hot pot options. We have Jen with us today. Yay! Yay! I cannot even handle chopsticks eh. Let's go check out the first place. Hot pot time! We are at Beauty in the Pot. You like Beauty in the Pot? I love it. Because they have a bit more interesting soup bases and everything. Right, right. They have a playground also. Very family friendly. Is it age restricted? I think if you want to go in, no one will stop you. Is it? So Beauty in the Pot is also awarded one of the best hot pot awards by the Restaurant Association of Singapore. Mm. We both tried it, but let's go try it again <laughs> just to make sure they are still good. So we're gonna make our condiments. It's 450 per person. You can get access to this as well as the desserts and side dishes. Scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone. Oh my lord. <laughs> Giant toxic and a spoon. Okay, let's try the soup. Collagen. Yeah, the collagen. Oh, I love the Actually, collagen. Actually, I don't even need this. I pour inside here. Okay. <laughs> See? Can I have Perfect. A bowl? Wow. I'll just cook so good. Very thick. Okay, what do we eat first? Okay, meat. I want to cook it in the collagen. Oh yeah. Okay, okay the, thank the, you. The whole cook it in collagen. Pretty good quality pork. Okay, we're gonna dip up with five degrees in the collagen as well. This is damn hard to use. My fingers are getting very sore. Okay, let's try the fat meat. It's a very interesting shape though. Like, why a cube? It's like a stick cut. Oh. Oh, it's like super fatty. I normally don't like tofu, but I mean, it doesn't taste like tofu. It tastes more like a fish cake. It's like a cross between silken tofu and fish cake. It soaks up a lot of the flavors mm. of the soup. Well, soup yeah. yeah, the fish tofu is really good, man. You want cheese ball or you want pork ball? I'll take any ball. I love balls. I'll try the cartilage ball. You get a lot of like the cartilage oil, you really like biting small pieces of like cartilage. Oh, the cartilage is damn good. I think it might be my favorite ball. Okay, maybe the prawn ball. But... Hot, it's hot, technically hot. prawn paste. It's just that instead of squeezing it out, they put it in a bowl. I like the prawn paste. Okay, you want to try your ginger. I still don't understand why you don't like it. They're weird. Yeah, why are you still giving it to me? I said you try it. The lean is different. It actually doesn't taste too... Um, like the tow taste is not very strong. I can roll this. And also it tastes a bit fresher. Like quite crispy. Eh? Okay, it's actually not bad. You end the prawn. It's the shell. It's the shell. They are waiting for the prawns to be drunk. How long more? Do we really need to drink more? Let's try the prawn. Beautiful. So sweet. Oh, wow, prawn taste is the best one. Will you like bring like your staff to come for like a, like a dinner? Yes, I will bring them here to use the private dining rooms. Actually, how many it holds? Ah? Ten, I think ten. Yeah. Look, it's a thing chilling. Oh wow, pull the whole cart over. I want a bell. Can you ring a bell? Yeah, ring the bell. Ask hey, nah, ring ring the... Okay, Jen wants the bell. Jen gets the bell. So there's also ice cream at Beauty in the Pot. It's Regular ice cream, nice. is it? Anyway, that's it for Beauty in the Pot. We're gonna move off to our next hot pot location. Let's go Beauty in the Pot. We're now at Chinatown Point. Wu Wang Guo. Unforgettable mm. hot pot. Unforgettable. So this is a relatively new brand. Mm. It's a local grown brand also. They specialize in more unique broths. And they have a special promo, the supper mm. promo. 9.30 p.m. to 3 a.m. 25% off the food ingredients. So let's go check out Wu Wang Guo. Condiment, $4 per pack. I'll make you refreshing sesame sauce. WWG <laughs> sesame sauce. All the food is here and we have four soups here. Actually, it looks all very vibrant, mm. which I love. I think especially like the, the dragon fruit prawn paste looks very interesting. These are more nourishing soups. Uh, I think it's a bit different. The fish, more big stomach pumpkin soup. Oh, wait. A huge lobster that just appeared. The mala soup, drunken chicken soup. Sweet tea. Sweet tea. Scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> What's my. What the shit? I have to drink soup okay, with bye this. Bye. Okay, so my soup spoon has just been downgraded to this. Cheers. Don't take too long, huh? 
It's very hard to drink. <laughs> It tastes quite thick. Uh. How's it thin? It has like a very sweet aftertaste from the pumpkin. Mm. So, you know, pig stomach yeah. soup usually very peppery. Yeah, so, it mouths it up. Okay. I want drunken chicken. It's like sake. I'm actually more excited about the collagen fish more. Wow. Oh, not bad. Super gao. It actually tastes a bit similar to this though. No, that one is way more peppery and sweeter. I kind of like the pumpkin one. Very the pumpkin? Total. Okay, ah. dig out my dragon fruit already. You can still see the dragon fruit seeds eh. There's a bit of the fibre yeah. when you bite into the seeds kind of texture. Like I feel pumpkin. like it makes it taste like a bit more like refreshing. As if like they added mint. But quite subtle lah. Yeah, okay. very very subtle. They have like a lot of deals. Yeah, so on Monday they have half price oyster. On Tuesday, $10 wagyu. Mm. But the original price is like $33. Wednesday there's ladies night. Drinks okay. one for one. It has like the seaweed. Seaweed rolled into shit, it. Shit. Mm, voila. Okay, okay, quick bit. Yes, very good. I'm just quite excited about the lobster. They say you can eat it sashimi yeah, style. Yeah, yeah. The seaweed they use is the seasoned one. Oh, it's a bit sweet. Prawns are now drunk. Mm. That's why I was like. Oh, corn tongue. Okay. Uh, so this is hua xia, right? Hua, hua de. It was live prawns, and then they put it in, yeah. in sake. You die in alcohol. I'm in gonna alcohol. take some lobster sashimi for you. Lobster cheers. Lobster cheers. Very clean taste. It's actually very soft for sashimi. It's very crunchy actually. We uh, lightly cook the lobster. See if it's better. Mm. I think it's better too. I feel like this lobster is more like milder. Like the flavour doesn't like, it's yeah, not yeah, like yeah. Boston lobster. Mm. You can see like it's super generous with the shredded the scallops. Scallop, uh, yeah. The mala is, is very chunk. I expected the scallop to be stronger. No? How's the A5? I feel like it can never go the... wrong. La. Honestly speaking. It's so smooth. It's so just, soft. I am the most impressed by the soup. I don't know, is it because it's alcohol? I think you have a drinking problem. <laughs> Promo for our viewers. You can show this video of Wu Wang Kuo and you can get one free quad soup when you come here. Get the alcoholic soup. Nice. Okay, that's it for here. We need to go off to eat more hot pot. We are now at Spicy Bangkok. Special thing here is individual hot pot. And I think like their bases are mostly like Tom Yum Gumu. So let's go check out Spice Banta. Food is here. We have our individual pots. This is the sliced beef with tomato soup. Signature, uh, signature tom, yum tom yum soup. So there's prawn, fish and clams. It comes with all the free flow vegetables and noodles and stuff at the side, which is insane. Yeah. And that's not all. The loyalty card thing. So when they told me about this, I was like, huh? So you can get this card by leaving a review on any of their social media channels. The loyalty card six chop only. Eh. Six chop, then you get a free hot pot. And every time you come, as long as you have the card, you get free milk tea. Like that, as a business owner, right? Nothing financially makes sense here. Fun fact, the chef is actually from a Michelin kitchen. It would yeah. mean that the standard is quite high. Okay. So I'm really excited to see how this Tom Yum Goong stands up to the yeah. other Tom Yums that I've had. Yeah, we have skewers as well. This is the pork belly. So it's mutton skewers. Okay, this one was surprising. For our viewers at home, guess what is this? Looks like a spaceship. <laughs> this is Duck Tang. I'm just excited to try this first. Can we try Duck Tang first? Oh shit, we forgot about it. We forgot about scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone! Oh! <laughs> You're like on a losing streak eh, dude. This seems kinda suitable. Okay, you see, uh, if I suit the, <laughs> the worst invention ever. I would say though, the dark tongue is pretty good. The uh, whole yeah, thing yeah, is yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Spices is the well. typical like Chinese like magic spice. La. May you later some soup because my absolutely useless spoon is. You must let me helicopter you. But can you hoo hoo first? <laughs> Yum, yum! It tastes like ABC tongue. How's the beef? Do you try the beef? Not bad. Very tender. I feel like the beef is like... Not bad. Yeah, good marbling and everything. Because I'm, I'm like surprised. I'm like surprised also. Yeah. I, I've been eyeing this flower squid. I love it when chefs hug squid like that. Like, I feel like the texture of the squid becomes like more tender. Mm. Okay, we're gonna try the tom yum noodles. The soup is not bad. Very, uh, very sour. The flavour is like, like creamy tom yum. Yeah, Jen, have my stick. Super yeah, spices really cover up the gaminess a lot. Mm. Oh, the meat's quite tender. It's not too salty also. Do you like the tomato base? It's quite light. It's very yeah. good for people who <coughs> doesn't want something too spicy. 
does taste like there's a bit of cream. Coconut. Coconut yeah. milk. It's not like the clear, clear soup. I flavor. feel like it's a bit too coconutty for me. I like very clear tom yum. The prawn is a bit not the best. It's like chewy. No, but it's not the usual like unfresh the mushy. Yeah. This is like a different set of problems. The tom yum gong, right? If you don't want prawn or seafood, right? There's also the sliced beef version. And then they also have non-spicy options for hot pot, which is golden well, shrimp soup. Shrimp soup. But I feel like in all fairness, you get what you pay for. Lah. Not the most amazing quality, but the price is really Very affordable. insane. I will come back for the screwers. I feel like the soups are a little bit all of them are a little bit too sweet for me. So that's it for spicy Bangkok. We're heading to our last spot. Ooh. So we're at our last spot. Yeah, so full. With oh, your oh, baby. My baby belly. Secret hot pot here. <laughs> so we're at Empire Hot Pot and Cantonese Cuisine. Possibly the most atas one. What they are famous for is their more premium soup bases but also not at such a high price as well and I heard that okay. it's like lobster I never let's had go. lobster broth for seafood I think that's new let's go add another lobster okay. baby in you add lobster baby let's go let's go the $3.50 for per person to get access to the condiment thing Caesar's paper stone Caesar's paper stone Jesus paper stone! Jesus paper stone! Save it, Jesus paper stone! Oh. Uh, what? This is it? How to eat this? We ordered the lobster, lobster broth. broth. And it actually comes with like a whole freaking lobster. Half, uh, half, half. Half, uh, half, 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 half a lobster. Half a lobster. From 88, you add 20. You can get all the premium soup bases. What's that? Oh, oh, sake. oh. Also, they add it uh. when you want to eat it. Okay. Sing cha. Sing cha. Actually, that's the <gasps> Ooh, it's like kombu base. It's like a dashi yeah, broth. The sweetness of the sake, uh, the sake yeah. and yeah, the, the sake actually, yeah. Very unique soup. The lobster, lobster soup. looks really fresh. Wow, I, I'm honestly surprised. Lobster damn fresh. Yeah, lobster broth was a good choice. And it's like nicely portioned out. Clearer and more ting lobster biscuit. Okay, so this is like the shiro buta. Pork belly. Okay, I, I can put it in. Is I can put it in. <laughs> Yeah. Beat root noodles. Ah. Actually, two people is a bit much. You think you have finished all this? Honestly, right, like when everything came out, I was like, this is super fun. That seafood game is damn strong. Mm. Everything is super sweet. High yeah. level, man. But seriously, guys, if you are feeling like a little bit fancy, you should just come here. You don't really burn a hole in your pocket, also, right? A Premium little bit is. of everything in this set. La. You gotta try the seafood choice of meat as well, the vegetable. It's quite generous in the proportions as well. Strong seafood game. It's a perfect ending to a steamboat episode. Overall, Rock, really solid. Very nice ambience. You get to try everything. But I think especially the, the seafood part of the menu it is, is available very the whole well day. done. $88 all day. Available for lunch, dinner, breakfast. The lobster broth was really impressive. You know sometimes when people put lobster on the menu, it's like yeah. very gimmicky. Mm. And then they just want people to buy it. Quite a refreshing take on hot pot, hot pot transition. Hot pot drops from the sky. We are finally at the end of our hot pot journey. Mm. Favorite hot pot of the day, drum roll. Empire. I'm actually torn between Beauty in the Pot and Empire. But oh. I think I'll, I'll lean towards Beauty in the Pot. So there you have it. This is our hot pot episode of Food Finders. Please remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. What's your favorite hot pot? I guess. Yeah. Oh, scissors, paper, stone. <laughs> wow, this is like. <laughs> That's it, guys. Bye. Awesome. <laughs> I just cannot win. I actually want to try something. Yeah, try what? Can we use scissors, paper, stone again? Okay, sure. There's I no way. I just cannot believe There's that no you, way you I keep lose losing. Okay. Scissors, paper, stone. Yeah, I told you one time I win, I'll lose already.